In additive number theory, Pierre de Fermat's theorem on sums of two squares states that an odd prime p is expressible as with x and y integers. If and only if, for example, the primes 5, 13, 17, 29, 37 and 41 are all congruent to 1 modulo 4, and they can be expressed as sums of two squares in the following ways. On the other hand, the primes 3, 7, 11, 19, 23 and 31 are all congruent to 3 modulo 4, and none of them can be expressed as the sum of two squares. This is the easier part of the theorem, and follows immediately from the observation that all squares are congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 4. Albert Girard was the first to make the observation, describing all positive integral numbers expressible as the sum of two squares of positive integers. This was published posthumously in 1634. Fermat was the first to claim a proof of it. He announced this theorem in a letter to Marin Massena dated December 25, 1640. For this reason this theorem is sometimes called Fermat's Christmas theorem. Since the Brahma Gupta Fibonacci identity implies that the product of two integers each of which can be written as the sum of two squares is itself expressible as the sum of two squares. By applying Fermat's theorem to the prime factorization of any positive integer n, we see that if all the prime factors of n congruent to 3 modulo 4 occur to an even exponent, then n is expressible as a sum of two squares. The converse also holds. This equivalence provides the characterization Girard guessed. Proofs of Fermat's theorem on sums of two squares. Fermat usually did not write down proofs of his claims, and he did not provide a proof of this statement. The first proof was found by Euler after much effort and is based on infinite descent. He announced it in two letters to Goldbach, on May 6, 1747 and on April 12, 1749, he published the detailed proof in two articles. Lagrange gave a proof in 1775 that was based on his study of quadratic forms. This proof was simplified by Gauss in his Disquisitionus Arithmetici. Dedekind gave at least two proofs based on the arithmetic of the Gaussian integers. There is an elegant proof using Minkowski's theorem about convex sets. Simplifying an earlier short proof due to Heath Brown, Zagier presented a one-sentence proof of Fermat's assertion. Related results Fermat announced two related results 14 years later. In a letter to Blaise Pascal dated September 25, 1654 he announced the following two results for odd primes. He also wrote if two primes which end in 3 or 7 and surpass by 3 a multiple of 4 are multiplied, then the product will be composed of a square and the quintuple of another square. In other words, if p, q are of the form 20k plus 3 or 20k plus 7, then p, q equals x2 plus 5, y2. Euler later extended this to the conjecture that both Fermat's assertion and Euler's conjecture were established by Lagrange.